One day in summer, Frog was not feeling well. Oh. Mm. Frog, you are looking quite green. But I always look green. I'm a frog. Well, today you look very green, even for a frog. Oh. Uh, get into my bed and rest. <sighs> uh, tell me a story while I'm resting. All right. Let me think of a story to tell you. Huh? Hmm. No. Maybe I can... Mm. I'll go out on the front porch and walk up and down. Perhaps that will help me think of a story. Eh, no, no, no. No, that's rotten. Hmm. Why are you standing on your head? I hope that if I stand on my <coughs> head, it will help me to think of a, <coughs> a story. Why are you pouring water over your head? I hope that if I pour water over my head, it will help me to think of a story. Why are you banging your head against the wall? I hope that if I bang my head ooh, against the wall, it will help me to think of a story. Uh, I'm feeling much better now, Toad. I, I don't think I need a story anymore. Then you get out of bed and let me get into it. Because now I feel terrible. Would you like me to tell you a story, Toad? Oh, yes, if you know one. <clears throat> Once upon a time, there were two good friends, a frog and a toad. The frog was not feeling well. He asked his friend, the toad, to tell him a story. So the toad walked up and down on the porch, but he couldn't think of a story. Oh. He stood on his head, but he couldn't think of a story. Oh. He poured water over his head, but he couldn't think of a story. Oh. Ooh. He banged his head against the wall, but he still could not think of a story. Oh. Then the toad did not feel so well, and the frog was feeling better. Oh. So the toad went to bed, and the frog got up and told him a story. The end. How was that, Toad? Uh, Toad? Toad did not answer. He had fallen asleep.